you want to be like your favorite streamer or YouTuber in Ghost of War and make tons of money? Now, there are a couple of ways of doing this, but the best way by far is by hitting those key card locations, those locked secret rooms. But to do that, you need to know where the key cards are to begin with. And today, I'm going to show you exactly where all of those locations are, not only on just one of the maps, but on every single map. So you'll never miss out on the opportunity to have the best loot and to make the most money in Ghost of War. And let me start by saying that the free Three key cards that we're going to be looking for today are the only three key cards in the game and that is the orange card which is to open an extraction but also has lootable items in there it is the purple access card which goes to the majority of the locked loot rooms in this game and then the best of the best the green card that can only be found in one location what i will share at the end of the video but i will mention one thing most of you experienced players will know this but for the new people who are getting into ghost of the ball the actual orange card and the purple card can actually be found in pretty much any places on any of the maps so any of the black weapon crates you come across the lockers uh, they're all loose loot spawns they have a very very small percentage of finding these in there but you didn't click on this video for that you want to know where the actual static spawns are for these particular cards now the first map we're going to be starting on is missile silo and missile silo is actually a really easy map to do because there's only actually one key card spot and it actually spawns really close to where the actual key card room itself is now if you're going from the main missile silo area and going towards where the purple key card room is there's another room in the back there what you will know as being a player spawn there's also a lot of loose loot in there like medical spawns and also as well you can find tweak cheese in there too now on the sides in that back room where the spawn is you can find a key card spawning along the side of the desk and, and also on the shelves to the right and like i said that is the only key card spawn on missile silo that would be the purple card i forgot to mention that before uh moving on to the main map where you're going to find majority of nearly every single Single key card in the game and that is going to be on the island of the board and there are quite a few of these so i'm going to get through them as quickly as possible so starting off at the radio tower when you go up towards the second floor as you're going to go up towards the ladder to get to the third floor where the gpu spawns are just before that there is a desk on the right hand side that is a key card spawn there on the right this is, again is a purple spawn switching over now to the laboratory area there are three main laboratory spawns you have one on the first floor reception desk in labs one on the second floor on the reception desk in labs and then the next one is on the third floor this is on the conference room on the table on labs as well now this is not an official spawn but i've also been told as well the guard tower outside the front of labs apparently has a pretty high chance of spawning a key card too this is not on the official wiki though this is just speculation from the player base and that is it for all the purple key card spawns on this map but we also have one orange key card spawn and that is over at the prison area now we have the main prison bunker area where the purple key card room itself actually is but above that you will have the office and on top of that you have a gpu spawn on the drawers but then on the desk is a orange key card spawn now onto the final key card locations they are all located on miakia mist and actually in the museum area as well so if you probably have been to the main museum area where you will find the collector the boss now by killing the boss is how you get access to the green card this is currently the only way of you getting access to this card at the moment so he has about a 10 percent chance i think at the moment when it comes to spawning so killing him and then he will drop it on the floor and you can pick it up from his body now what people don't know is there are actually another purple key card spawn uh, in the museum as well so in the actual collector spawn room at the back on top of the stage there's a box on top of this box you can also spawn another purple card so it's definitely worth checking if you're going through and trying to hunt down the boss at the same time and that is it that is every single key card location on ghost of the board if this video has helped you remember to like and subscribe for more and remember to have a great day